Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Active Directory. Um, we just got our Windows Server images up and running just a couple of hours ago. So hopefully this demo will work. Uh, I haven't tried it out. So this, it, this will be interesting. Um, okay, so we have a couple of new images that you can use. Uh, we have a Windows 7 Enterprise and to a Windows Server 2012 R2. Um, uh, one is with the GUI, one is Core Edition. Uh, hopefully I, I would like you to run the Core uh, because it uses a uh, lot less resources and uh, it's good to know how to configure that with the CLI. Uh, but today I will have one server with the GUI. Uh, these machines take uh, around five to ten minutes to create, so I have pre-created three of them. Um, I have one Windows 7 and one Core and one uh, with the GUI. And this one, uh, Grandmaster Win, I will use as an administrator machine. Uh, which I will be able to contact outside uh, of our network. And from that machine, I will connect to the machines in the internal network. So these two machines uh, should not be accessible uh, from the internet. They should be in the local area network. Um, this is uh, just uh, created. Uh, so I haven't done any configuration or nothing on them. And this one, the server core, will act as a domain controller for the Active Directory domain. Uh, and this will be just be an, an client. So this first thing I would like to show you is how to create this administrator machine. This, this could be a, a Windows client. It doesn't have to be a server. Um, but if you are going to install it on a, a client, then you need to install something called an administrator pack, which has all the uh, the snap bins for uh, MMC, so you can control DNS and uh, Active Directory and uh, yeah, the different services that you will run on your server. And uh, so, with Windows, we can't use SSH to control our machines from outside the network uh, because it doesn't have an SSH uh, server running. So what we can do is connect to it uh, through RDP, Remote Desktop, uh, which uh, works really well in Windows. Uh, but first, what we need to do, I need to get my notes up and running. And in this Grandmaster, we will connect to it through uh, the internet. So we need to associate with an floating IP. And when we have created this machine, you could look at the console and you will see uh, this window. Hopefully, no. Okay. We have, I don't think that control alt delete. If I press control alt delete now, I will uh, send that to my machine that I have here. I don't think that it will work. Oh, it did. Uh, it has two accounts. The administrator account uh, has no password yet. And we have the admin account with. Uh, and that has a password that been created when the machine was installed or set up. And how do we get that password? Well, we can get that from the OpenStack CLI. So firstly, I don't think that I have my RC file on this computer, so I will download that. Oh. Maybe I did have that. Yes, I did. Uh, and then let's... Uh, 
let's use that file. Uh, don't download. Um, I probably have two now. Okay, use the the first one, and it will ask me for my password. So hopefully now I can run the open stack command. Oh, if I type right, server. And here I have my servers. So to get that IP, uh, oh sorry, for that password for the admin account, uh, I need to use. I haven't found the command for the OpenStack, but when you install OpenStack, you will also get some other commands like Nova. And hopefully that will work for you also. So we use Nova, get password, and then the server ID. I think you can use the server name also. Let me use that one. and then your key file. So you need to have the key file to be able to access this. Uh, I won't show you my password. <laughs> I will run this command. And it will only state a password. So I will save that here on my other screen. So now I have a password for the administrator account. Uh, we also need to be able to use this RDP, which is a protocol which Microsoft have created. And we need to open a port to, get the, to be able to access the machine. So we create a new security group for RDP. And the port that it is, will use is 3389. But I think it has a pre-configured rule for that. Mm, yes. And then we will assign that to our Grandmaster Win machine. And we have RDP. Uh, the RDP server should be running on all of our Windows machines uh, by default. And the Windows firewall have been pre-configured, so it will allow that in. So it should work now to connect to this machine. You need an RDP um, client of sort. There are clients for Linux, Windows. Uh, in Windows, they are installed by default, so you have them if you have Windows from XP or upwards. Uh, and you have uh, on OS X also. So you just download one of these clients. You, and how the interface look may differ quite a lot, actually. But usually, you only have to uh, specify uh, an IP address for the machine or a DNS name. Uh, and a username and a password. Um, that's my name, and the IP was and we had the admin account and the password. I got from the Nova get password command. I'm not sure if it will show, so I type it in here. Um, usually we have 
different settings. You could uh, redirect folders if you want files on the local machine to be able to access them from the server. You can add redirections for those. Copy and paste will work, but you probably won't be able, uh, from OS X anyway, drag and drop files into the window, but you could uh, enable one of these uh, redirection. I will actually use that because I need some script later on, uh, which I have in my desktop, I think. Oh, we can take the whole desktop. Um, <coughs> that should be it. The first thing you will get is that to be able to make a secure connection, uh, Windows is using certificates, which I will discuss on Friday on Secure Lecture. Uh, so you need to um, confirm that you uh, allow this connection the first time, or if you don't install the certificate, you need to do that uh, every time. Okay, it you will use all my screens. <laughs> I need to make some settings. settings sorry. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> so I won't use all my monitors. I, oh, we can start it in full screen. I hopefully it will start on this screen. So now I'm connected to that machine. Uh, it will have, I think anyway, the name that I used when I created the machine in OpenStack. Yes, Grandmaster Win. So we will use this machine to connect to other machines inside our local network. So they don't have to have RDP uh, open from the outside. 